Welcome to my neck of the woods and today we're going to be making apple chips. Now apple chips are super easy to make and it's a great homemade snack that you can make during the holidays. You can make it really any time of the year. All you need is one good bacon apple and I'm using a 20 ounce heirloom apple here but any kind of good bacon apple will work. You need a mandolin. If you don't have a mandolin, you can use a knife, but I find using a mandolin works much better. And then you need an air fryer. And I know there's like a million different types of air fryers out there in the market. This is the air fryer I use, but it'll work for any of them. Now, if you don't have an air fryer, you can also use your oven. It's gonna take a bit longer to make, but you can do the same thing. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure that your apple has been washed thoroughly. You wanna make sure any chemicals, all the other stuff that is on the apple is taken off. So I've washed this apple and it's ready to go. But make sure you wash your apple really, really well. The next thing you need, and as I said, I use a mandolin. If you don't have a mandolin, you can use a knife at home, but you just wanna set your mandolin up. And I have it set for, oh, about an eighth of an inch. Nowadays, everything is in metric, so uh, let's see, I have it right at about eight millimeters. That's what I set mine at. So you can go ahead and set it or whatever, but you just want to take your apple and you're just going to run it across the mandolin. So after I've cut them, and you can see how thick they are here, I, I just go ahead and push the seeds out. I don't do them ahead of time. and I'm gonna lay them in my frying basket. Now I washed a couple more bacon apples because I got some more room here, so just gonna go ahead and use the mandolin and cut a more, couple more slices there. So the next thing I wanna do is just see what's gonna fit inside my air fryer pan, and then what I do is add a little bit of real cinnamon to them, just a little bit on top of each one. And then once you have your air chips ready to go, you're just going to go ahead and put them in your air fryer. Now, like I said, every air fryer is different. So this is just the way mine works. So I just put it in where it needs to go. Now, the one thing I do, it depends on how your air fryer is set up. Mine has a dehydrator option. I usually dehydrate my apples for about five minutes just to pull the moisture out before I go ahead and air fry. The reason is I have found that if you do a dehydrator option first and pull that moisture out, they get crispier. So if you want really crispy apple chips, go ahead and use the dehydrator option if yours does have that. And if not, you can go directly to the air fryer. So I'm just gonna go ahead to the, to the dehydrate option and I'm just gonna start that. And I'm gonna let that run for about five, 10 minutes just to pull the moisture out of the apple. So as soon as that's done, we'll be right back. So once you've had your apples on the dehydrate setting for about 10 minutes, and again, if your air fryer has that setting, go ahead and use that. If it doesn't, just skip it. I just find when you dehydrate them for about 10 minutes, pulls out a little bit more moisture, makes them a little bit crispier. So if you do have a dehydrate setting, go ahead and do that for about 10 minutes. So we've done that. I'm gonna turn this off. And now I'm gonna go up to air fry. And again, every one is different on mine. I just turn it to air fry, hit start. And now I'm gonna let it air fry for about 10, 15 minutes. So we're gonna keep an eye on them and We'll be back as soon as they're done. So our apple chips have been air frying now for about 15 minutes. So let's go ahead and pull them out. And you can see how nice they look. We're going to go ahead and put them on the pan here. And then as they cool, we're gonna go ahead and make our next batch. So I'm gonna put the basket in again and 
Again, it depends on your air fryer. I have a dehydrate option. So I'm going to go ahead and set it for dehydrate for about 10 minutes. So my apples have been air frying for about 15 minutes and that time's going to vary depending on how crispy you like them, how thick you cut them, the type of air fryer you're using. If you use the dehydrator, uh, the option beforehand. And that's one thing I like about this air fryer. It's got the windows in the front so I can kind of keep an eye on what's going on. I used to use the basket type and that worked well, but with the basket type, you got to pull it out every so often. You got to shake it and so forth, which is fine. But I'm just letting you know, depending on the type of air fryer you're using, the time is going to vary. Also, depending on how thick you made them and also how crunchy or chewy you want them. So let me go ahead. I'm just going to open this up and we'll pull them out. So you can see how delicious they look. They look really good and that's pretty much the way I like them. So let me go ahead and take them off. Now that's pretty much it on how to make apple chips in your air fryer. Now, if you don't have an air fryer, you can do the same thing in an oven. And like I said earlier, I'll put the directions for that in the description below. But hey, this is a great snack over the holidays. A lot of times your oven's busy. So this is a great thing for you and the kids to come over make some apple chips just to eat while you're waiting for that Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner to get made. And so uh, thanks for watching. Hey, I hope you subscribe. I hope you like this video and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.